Twas the night before an ASU Christmas. Twas ASU's night before Christmas, though it still felt like fall, not a student was stirring in Centennial Village Hall. Their stockings all hung by their room doors with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The students were nestled all safe in their beds while visions of winter break danced in their heads. The RAs had hung up their blue and gold clothes and had just settled down for a well-deserved doze. When out on the mall there arose such a clatter, they sprang up from their beds to see what was the matter. Away to the windows they flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, and threw up the sash. The moon that revealed a complete lack of snow gave a luster of midday to objects below, when what to the RA's wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh pulled by rams, not reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, they knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came as he whistled and shouted and called them by name. On Roscoe, on Bella, and Dominic too. Unbelievable, who knew that you flew? To Centennial Village at the end of the mall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the main entry, the coursers they flew, with a sleigh full of gifts and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, they heard at the door, the prancing and pawing and Dominic's roar. As they drew in their heads and were turning around through the front lobby, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed in true blue from his head to his foot, and with no trip down a chimney, he wasn't covered in soot. A bundle of gifts he had flung on his back, and he looked like a student with a stuffed full backpack. His eyes how they twinkled, his dimples how merry, his cheeks like red peppers, his nose mesquite berry. His droll little mouth whistled the ASU fight song. And the beard of his chin was white and quite long. He tamped out his pipe, there's no smoking in dorms, and the hazy remnants circled his head like ram horns. He had a broad face and a round little belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. <laughs> he was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and the RAs laughed when they saw him, in spite of themselves. <laughs> he flashed the ram hand up over his head, letting them know they had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, and he filled all the stockings, and then turned with a jerk. With a final farewell to the odd RA crew, giving a nod, out the entry, he flew. He sprang to his sleigh, to his rambolets gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas, Ram fam, and to all, a good night. <laughs>